Hi guys, today we are building a comic book style custom dialogue system for Adventure Creator using the Adventure Creator tools that are available to us. It's gonna look something like this with a dynamic background, dynamic portrait, dynamic speech bubbles. So to start us off, we need to do some planning. Like so. I like this color. This will be the uh, oh, hang on. Okay, never mind. So this will be our uh, uh, comic book panel. Looks like so maybe. And then I guess we need black as well. Something like this, I guess. You need a portrait. Someone needs to be speaking. Uh, hang on, let's see. We need a mouth. Looks like this. A couple of eyes. So this is an orc. Naked orc. He has uh, red eyes. Don't let this red eyes fool you. It's actually really friendly. So what else do we need? We could add uh, a speech bubble. So it's gonna look something like this. And whoop. So we have a speech bubble. So again, we have a background. We can do several of these. We have a portrait. We have a speech bubble. And some kind of text to put into it. We're not going to use this text. It's just for, for demonstration. So. Do we need anything else? Yes. We could do a layer as well with the uh, name of the person speaking. Paste it. Shrink it down. Something like this. We're not going to do this. It's not going to be good looking. To do some emotions so we can do a layer with uh, we should call it details and in uh, for example in, in uh, this style he will raise his hand and uh, lots of gold so he's super happy so now we're gonna need to start saving these the uh, as uh, separate pngs and then we're gonna stack these up within unity to build our portrait to build our, our panel, I guess, our comic book panel. So we need to save each element as its own. So we do a background. I'm gonna call it background one because we might want several. So we save this one as background one. So we'll call this guy Max. It's gonna be Max talking. Save it. And then we need a portrait with Max giving the thumbs up. We're gonna save that one as well. So max happy export. We need the speech bubbles. So we're gonna do start with this one. We're gonna do that as a bubble. Talk. Why not? Let's make another one. Make uh, like a black outline first. Now we have a thought bubble as well. We're gonna export that one. And that's gonna be bubble think. We have a name label down here. We don't need that as, a, as this whole element because we want to make, make this scalable. Sprite, trim, file, export. So, how do we apply these uh, graphics that we've done to our to an actual dialogue? How do we make it appear when you talk? Because when you do a dialogue in, in Adventure Creator, you use you just do uh, you do this. It's a simple. Uh, just a box where you click is it the player line or not and then adventure creator handles everything behind the scenes this is where parameters come in so this is the default uh, conversation menu in adventure creator you can find it in the under the AC tab under menus it's called subtitles and this is what is displayed when, the, uh, when a person is talking so we're gonna use, we're gonna create a new one that looks nothing like this. So how to do that is you just click the button create new menu. We're gonna name this menu comic, Oop, not comic style. That's nice. And then we're gonna start building our first comic book panel. We're gonna use that later as a template for all the other panels. So 
First of all, we're gonna do a position. We're gonna manually position it. And we're also gonna do the manually size it. But if I start, if I increase the size a bit, then you can see things starting to move around. So, first of all, we want a menu on the left side. This first menu, this box that you are doing, this is the actual canvas within your Unity canvas. So this, what I'm, what I'm setting up here is the area I have to play with. Something like that, it's fine. All right, so we have our menu. It's called Comic Style. It's a lot of ways to go. So now we need to create uh, some kind of background. So we're gonna create a new element type. It's called Graphic. I'm gonna add that. So this is gonna be our background. As you can see now, we have a box within the box. We're gonna add a texture, and we're gonna use our background for that. I have it here. I just drag it in. Boop boop. We're gonna do it relative to the menu size. And we are gonna make the size absolute pixels 512 by 512. We're actually gonna position it in the middle, like so. Uh, so we have the background graphic set up. We're gonna do a new graphic. We're gonna call the okay. So we're gonna call this element background. By the way. We're gonna take the background graphic and we're gonna copy this. Paste after. This is also a graphic, but this one will contain the max talk graphic. We're gonna name it max talk. We're gonna copy max talk. We're gonna paste it after. We're gonna name this max happy. We're gonna add the max happy graphic to it. Gonna hide all of these. Oh, selected the wrong one. Anyway, oh, it works. Uh, we're gonna do the add uh, the bubbles. So bubble talk. Boop. And now we're gonna do the bubble sink. So what we have created now is a menu with a couple of panel uh, with a couple of menu elements in it that we can show. Uh, we can uh, show them and we can hide them, and basically build a custom uh, comic book panel. Very, very basic. We only have uh, we have uh, two speech bubbles to choose from, and we have Max being uh, uh, talking normally and giving a thumbs up. So not 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 much to play with. So how would we display this in game? Yeah, we would display uh, show our background. Then we would select which uh, panel element we want to use. We want Max to be happy, and we want him to be thinking of something. Maybe cheese. He likes cheese. But we need something to end up in, in is this thought bubble here. So we're gonna need to add an, another element. So we can't use the graphic element. We're gonna need to use the label. The label is text. So we add a new one, and this is gonna be our dialogue. Under label type, we are gonna select the dialogue line. And then AC will handle this automatically. We're gonna select Color. that actually works this can actually be uh, dynamic uh, I use black because it's comic book and it's very obviously who's talking but you can change it to the you can set it to change it to the uh, uh, the color of the NPC is talking or the player is talking as well if you want so come on. Ooh, that's not the right button we're gonna move the uh, we're gonna move the dialogue. Gonna put it in the the box here. We're gonna do a placeholder text where he says, "Hello." No, not at all. I like cheese because he's thinking of cheese. 
We're also missing something here. Where did my label go? I thought I exported it, didn't I? Okay, let's try it again then, I guess. Uh, name label, let's trim this, let's export it. Huh, I saved it somewhere else. Label, our dialogue name, something. Export. There we go. So we want the dialogue name to be down here. And uh, that means we need to add another label. So we're gonna take this, we can actually copy this. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. We do add a new one. Uh, an element type as a label, add new. And this is gonna be the name of speaker. And it's gonna be placeholder is who is talking. We're gonna position this. Put it here. That's fine. We're gonna do a background texture on this one. And we're actually gonna use the graphics that we made for that. I'm showing the concept of how to do this. So I'm not bothering here with things stretching and looking weird. That is something you can you can polish in, in your own time, I guess. Uh, you can do a what's called a nine slice on this label, uh, which you can look up, or I'll make another video on that later. Basically, it makes boxes like this scalable without distorting the edges. It's regular nine slice. Uh, anyway, this name of speaker is going to be of label type dialogue speaker. All right, enable on start. So now I will have this menu <coughs> right here. And if I hit this one, he says, hello. Pretty cool. So we have the basics of a comic book panel now, but it's, it's incredibly <laughs> clunky and uh, it, it's always there. So we need to make it appear and disappear and stuff, stuff like that and make it more dynamic. So first of all, hide everything nothing needs to show also we need to start thinking about our name naming conventions so we're gonna go over this again the background do we want several backgrounds to me as a game developer do i need one panel that fits everything or do i want different panels maybe i want different sizes so for this we want many panels so we're gonna prepare for that so i'm gonna name this large or B large for background large we have uh, an element called max happy that's fine I think we have max talk that's also fine if we wanted more we could have max angry uh, max giving the finger whatever you want I think these ones are also fine bubble talk bubble think and dialogue and name of speaker those are fine So in this video, we created our menu system. So we now have the basics in place to build on this and create an actually dynamic action list that uses these menu elements to display dialogue in the game.